This video is about the big data and we'll look into the introduction of big data and what big data is always all about. Big data is data sets that are so voluminous and complex that traditional data processing application software is inadequate to deal with them. Big data challenges include capturing data, data storage, data analysis, search, sharing, transfer, visualization, queuing, updating and information privacy. There are three dimensions to big data. They are known as volume, variety and velocity. So the big data when you tell a look into big data use the term big data it is related to data which is very voluminous and the data is very complex and the data has a high velocity means the rate of creation of the data is very high and the variety of data that is a multi variety data is created so not only one type of data but multi data is created so the big data is also defined for data which fall into below three categories which are very large volume of data very high velocity of data and there is two wide variety of data I means the different types of data are also too large and these are usually extremely large so that there's large or extreme volume of data there is extreme velocity of the creation of the data and there is extreme variety of different types of data and these are known as the three V's of big data so when your data or a group of data information has these three properties you can usually call this as the falling in the category of big data. So the big data usually includes data sets with sizes beyond the ability of commonly used software tools to capture, curate, manage and process data with a, within a tolerable elapsed time. So the big data philosophy encamps, encompasses unstructured, semi-structured and structured data. However, the main focus is on unstructured data. So the big data can again be of three different types. These are unstructured data, they are can be structured data and semi structured data so we will look into what unstructured semi structured and structured are so big data is usually data which is huge volume the data generation rate is very fast and the data format is very complex also the data is coming at you from variety of sources so that's what we have looked into what big data is all about as of now and again what you looked into was that the big data is can be more classified as semi-structured, structured and unstructured data. So what is unstructured data is it's not in a very meaningful form and structured data is something which is can be written in or can be read out in a very meaningful way. So we'll look into that and what include big data is that web data, text data, so the data from the different websites, the data of your web browsing history or the web browsing history of thousands of users and the text data, the time and location data, the social networking data. So all these kind of data or the information which is generated from all the website usage, the different kinds of texts like hundreds and thousands of books and time and location data of various different devices that working together and the social networking data so all these kind of data or information content can be classified as big data because they are huge volume they are generated at a very fast rate and the data is, is very complex and it is not possible for a normal computing software systems to analyze this data in a re reliable or short period of time so the types of big data classified as structured data Structured data examples include grocery bills, electricity bills, shopping lists, etc. So these are in a very structured form and it's very e easy for humans or computers to understand and do calculations on this data. So simple programs can be written to analyze and calculate these data. So such kind of data like electricity bills, etc. come under structured data. So the unstructured data include data contained in large video files, audio clips, etc. So most of the data are in the form of zeros and one and have no definite format easy to understand for humans. So such kind of data which is contained in videos etc which is not very related together as it can be requires complex computer softwares to analyze such data. So such kind of data form what is known as unstructured data. And the third kind of the data is semi-structured data. This data is regular or irregular data, but the data has a structure and a logic. So there is some logic behind the data which can be easily understood, but it's complex for humans to easily understand as compared to structured data. So 
the data generated by web logs or the application log or the system log of your computer such kind of data for a period of days or hours can give a, a huge amount of data which is may which have various parameters which is not easy to understand for humans but are easy to understand for computers but such data is not as irregular as unstructured data and can be known as semi-structured data so what are the applications of the big data so some of the applications of big data include healthcare education media and internet of things or IOT also information technology